My name is Elsie Ritchie and I'm a senior communication major for the School of Business and Industry at Jacksonville State University. Welcome to Student Spotlights, a video series highlighting our current students and their successful stories. Today we are here with senior uh, Daniel O'Donnell who is majoring in music. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you Elsie? I'm doing well. So why don't we begin by you telling us a little bit about yourself and where you come from. Sure. Um, so my name is Daniel O'Donnell. Um, I've been living in Jacksonville since I was five years old. Lived here, went to school here, grew up here, um, and went to school here at JSU and going into my senior year right now. Awesome. That's really cool. So have you seen kind of, you know, a difference between when you first moved to Jacksonville as, you know, an elementary school student to coming to college here? How has that changed your life? Oh, absolutely. Um, when you're going to school as an elementary school student and a high school student at, in Jacksonville, there's two sides to the town and you see the you see the normal town aspect of everything growing up in a small town community. And then when you when you start going to JSU, you see the entire other side, the, the actual college life, uh, Greek life, different organizations and different experiences that you can have on campus. Yeah, absolutely. So now you're majoring in music. Um, was music a big part of your life growing up? Absolutely. My my mother was a church pianist and my dad was a disc jockey at uh, WLJS when he went to school here. So music has been a big part of my life just for as long as I can remember. Absolutely. And growing up around it definitely influenced my decision to major in music. Right. Now, um, if you did you play a bunch of instruments growing up or was there one specific that you kind of fell in love with? Well, I started playing saxophone when I was in sixth grade and that was my first introduction to music. Um, kept learning a bunch of different instruments as I started going through high school and then learned uh, several more whenever I got to school here at Jacksonville State. And so now I'm somewhat knowledgeable of not only saxophone but piano, guitar, okay. um, singing, and other different instruments. Awesome. So now, being around this town, is that what influenced your decision in coming to Jacksonville State? If so, you know, kind of explain that. Growing up around here definitely had a big part in, in my decision to come here. Um, my family has deep ties to JSU. Right. Um, my grandparents met here, my parents met here, living around here and just always being on campus and seeing everything that there is to do. So when it came time to decide where I wanted to go to college, JSU just seemed like the obvious choice. Absolutely. A lot of people say that it's called home and I know that it's definitely become home for me. So I, I can definitely understand that. Um, now, what was something that you that really stood out to you about JSU that you really wanted to get involved in on campus? One of the things that stood out to me the most was uh, the marching band program here at JSU, the Marching Southerners. Growing up and being, uh, being in uh, the band program at my high school, I was always able to just step outside wherever I was in town during the fall and hear the Southerners practicing uh, in the afternoons. Uh, I love going to the football games, I love going to band day, to the, to the honor band, and being around that program had the biggest influence in me coming here. So now, did you just play your instrument or did you decide to kind of further your, um, I guess, leadership within the Marching Southerners? What all did you do while you were a member of it? So when I was in the Southerners, uh, I started out playing saxophone and as time progressed on, I was able to audition for drum major and was able to be one of the drum majors from uh, 2014 all the way through 2016. That's really cool. Now, as a drum major, I know I don't know much about you know, um, band, marching southern or not marching southerners, but marching band. Um, what as a drum major did you do um, with the marching southerners? Oh, it's uh, it's a big job for right. real. Um, <laughs> there 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 are several aspects uh, to being drum major. There's um, there's helping lead the rehearsals with the band directors. Um, there's the behind the scenes work that we do, especially okay. getting ready for band camp, uh, helping out with uh, printing music and getting things ready for rehearsals okay. each day. Uh, there's also the aspect of kind of be, being one of the faces of the program. Right. So you're at the at, at most preview days, um, you're speaking to high school students almost at every football game and every preview day that you're at, and you're always meeting people and you know telling people about the university right. and about the organization. Right, that's really cool. Now, besides being so influential within the Marching Southerners, was there um, something else that you did outside of that that involved music on campus or? Um, there, I've been able to uh, be a part of several different musical organizations on campus. Um, I'm currently a, a brother of Fimey Alpha Symphonia, which is one of the musical fraternities on campus. Um, I'm a member of the jazz band, um, and I'm currently a undergraduate assistant with the jazz program. 
Um, I've also had the opportunity to go around and play with different groups and uh, bands and different events around campus and around the Southeast. Okay, so now I know that you started a band we talked previously before this interview about the Sunset. So why don't you kind of elaborate a little bit on what you all do as a band? So one of my main bands that I play with were called the Sunsets. We formed back in um, early, uh, we formed back in the middle of 2015, and we started as a cover group playing around the area, doing different cover songs, playing at different events. Eventually, we got to the point to where we started writing our own music and we had the opportunity to record a full-length album up in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, that album was just released this past summer and we've been getting great reception about it and we've been able to tour it in places like Atlanta and uh, Louisiana and uh, Florida as well. That's really cool. Now, um, speaking on behalf of you know what you see for your future with music as your major and you having a lot of different experiences within the field, what do you want to accomplish in your future and what are your goals and aspirations? Well, one of my biggest goals is to continue playing and whenever I graduate from Jacksonville State, I would definitely like to go on and get my master's degree and hopefully maybe even a doctorate in, in performance, be able to continue playing. Uh, teach lessons, be on different studio recordings, tour, um, play with several different acts, whoever they may be, and be able to teach lessons and hopefully have my own program somewhere one day. That's, that is so neat and it's so cool to see just something different um, that JSU can give students. Um, so what is one piece of advice that you could give an incoming student to Jacksonville State University? One piece of advice other than just practicing scales uh, for <laughs> musicians is um, Definitely don't be afraid to get involved with uh, all of the different uh, ensembles and programs, especially in the music department for anyone wanting to major in music. Uh, we have so many different uh, programs to offer between jazz, classical, opera, theater. Um, don't be afraid to look into uh, more information with them and get involved with them because you never know what you're going to find and you never know what you're going to fall in love with. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Daniel, for taking the time to come and interview with us. Uh, if you have a student whose video or story should be highlighted, please comment their name below this video. Thank you so much for watching Student Spotlights. Go Gamecocks!